Hubbies, it's Cherie. Um, I have a little mini haul, don't I always? Um, let me zoom out a little bit. I was just doing another video, so it's all up in my grail. Oh, oh. Sorry, I didn't mess with settings before starting. <laughs> um, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I have a mini haul. Um, I ordered from two companies that I'm pretty excited about, as always. Um, this company I found on Etsy, and they are called Notoriously Morbid. Ooh. I love their packaging. It's super cute. Um, they have lots of pigments, and I think they had some lip products that I didn't try. I'm kind of swimming in lip products, and honestly, I don't wear lip color every day, so I don't feel like I need it as badly. I'm always drawn to shadows. Um, but I picked up two, four, six, eight shadows, <laughs> and they come in full-size jars and then the minis, and the minis are only $2.75, so I got all minis just to kind of give them a try. They also have sample baggies, I think, that are a dollar. I'm not sure. But I love their packaging and the ingredients are listed on the back. So this first color is Pornographic Priestess. You know I'm a sucker for names. Um, but they have all of the ingredients listed on the back. Um, this one is not vegan or lip safe. So it does list that on the back if that's something you're concerned with. The information's on there, which is good. Um, this color is really pretty. It's kind of like a pinkish, neutrally tan color. I'll swatch it for you real fast. It's kind of sheer, so I really like it as like a brow, brow bone color. Can't even really see it. Um, it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. I dig it. Um, you know, can never have too many neutrally colors. And let me get something to wipe my hands off with. It's gonna get, it's gonna get real swatchy up in here. All right, this next color I love. I'm actually wearing it today, but I'm not gonna show it to you up close because that's in another video. Um, but this one is called Dita, and they had a collection that was based on burlesque, like burlesque stuff, which I am obsessed with. I collect vintage burlesque photos, like my bathroom is covered in them. Um, I just I love burlesque dancing, and I, that whole that whole lifestyle is just gorgeously fancy to me. Um, but this one is this stunning, like dark, deep red color that's got some shimmer in it, and it really does remind me of Dita Von Tees. I don't know if familiar with her but she is sexual chocolate to me she is beautiful um, gorgeous um, so I really like that one and I'll give it a little swatch for you I like the minis because then I don't have to commit to a giant one until I know I'm in love um, this is swatching a little bit weird on my hand but it, on my eyes it was perfect so it's just like a deep crimson red with some shimmer love it love it and then the next color I got is called Cry Wolf Cry. Cry Wolf Cry. So sad. Sad wolf. And this one is like a taupey sort of brownish gray. Bloop bloop. Give that a swatch. This one again is a little bit on the sheer side. Um, this would be a great brow color. I like it. It's got a little bit of a purple tinge to it, so I dig that. And the next color is called Stripper Zombie. Stripper Zombie. I got this one mostly because it's green and I really like the name. <laughs> and this one is a like minty green almost, and it's got some really pretty goldish shimmer in it. We're going to put it. This one's really pretty. Ooh. Ah. I really like that. It's a nice spring color. Um, the next one I got is called Titosh. Titosh. And uh, this one is just a brownish, again, a neutral. I got a lot of them apparently that don't really show up. <laughs> I got a lot of base colors. This one's really nice. Um, it's kind of like a champagne almost. It's got a little champagne to it. Dig that, dig that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The next color I got is called Belle's Bounty. This was also in the burlesque. Or no, it wasn't. I have another one that's in the burlesque. This is, I think, the Disney villain, Disney characters. I can't remember, guys. Um, it's a dark, deep gold with a little bit of an orange tinge. So nice. So nice. I have a 
lot of golds. I have a lot of colors, let's be real. I like that one a lot. It's got a little bit of an antique -y feel to it, which is cool. Um, but it's also, I think, mild enough to where you could wear it every day. And the next one I got is from their burlesque collection. It is British Blondes. I really wanted to get the whole collection, but I wasn't sold on every color. And I also wanted to try them before I bought a whole collection. But this one's just a really light gold. Boop, boop. This one's more on the yellow side than the gold side. Boop, boop. So nice. And then the last color I got is Intense. Again, I got it mostly because of the name. <laughs> um, this one is The Doctor's Wife. And it is a deep, deep, deep blue. Like, whoa, hold the phone. Blue. So it's like, it's like a Doctor Who blue. <laughs> I don't know when or where or how I'll wear this, but it will, it will be done. It's all under my finger now. <sighs> Huge swatch. Oh, wow. This is super pigmented. That's gorgeous. It's all underneath my finger now. <clears throat> Perils of having long fingernails. Woo! That is serious blue. Um, I really like that a lot. I will come up with a reason to put it on my face. Um, so that's all the colors that I picked out, and then they sent me two samples. Let me wipe these off. Oh no, there's blue everywhere. That's that's an extreme color. Extreme! And they sent me two samples. Oh, it's everywhere. How did that happen? Oh dear. The doctor's wife is all over me. <laughs> all right. All right, hopefully we're somewhere near safe. Okay, um, this next one is called Witch with a Wand, and it is a really pretty pink. I'm not going to swatch this one. You see all that doctor under my finger? <sighs> um, and the next one is another super bluish purple. This one's called Morgana. That's a nice, really cool blue purple. I'm never going to be able to get this blue up from under my finger. Um, so that's all I got from them. Uh, I really like the consistency. They're, I'm wearing two of three of them today. Um, they're real buttery. They're real nice. They're not chalky. Um, the prices are great. I love the packaging <laughs> and the name. Like such a cute little name and package. Um, and the prices are decent. So I think it's another company that you should give a try. Find them on Etsy. Notoriously Morbid. I'll link them down below. Um, they also have a blogger deal. Like I think it's five bucks. You can pick one full size shadow and then you get four or five samples. I didn't do that one just because I don't know why I didn't do that one, but, but that's an option, and she doesn't, she's not super strict on if you're actually a blogger, like, I don't think you have to link your channel or anything, so that could be an option for you. It's blue forever. Um, the next company that I got something from is called White Rabbit Beauty, Beauty Beyond the Looking Glass. They have this cute little card, and each card comes with a handwritten note, handwritten note about your purchases, which I thought was really cute and super thoughtful, and what's cool about this site is you can buy higher end cosmetics at a discount and they also provide samples which is great because I've been wanting to try some higher end uh, foundations like 100% pure and those kind of things but I just cannot justify spending $35-$40 on um, a base that I haven't tried and then I'm stuck with this giant product that costs me a lot of money that I'm not going to use or I don't like and I'm forcing myself to use it so makeup should be fun um, so I got a whole bunch of samples of foundation um, Let's see, I think I had them all. They were organized. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I got three of the 100% pure samples. Um, I got the sample foundation in Peach Bisque. This is not my color, but they were out of the two lighter shades, probably because it's a popular shade. Um, so it's pretty dark, but I'm going to try it just to see if I like the consistency. It's a pretty good size. I think that'll last ooh, at least four or five applications, hopefully, if it's a good foundation. <laughs> um, and then I got two of the tinted moisturizer samples. I got white peach and cream so I figured if one of these colors works for me and I love the foundation I'll know what color I am. They also come in these little pots and these are super cheap. I want to say these were like $150 each for the samples and there's a good three to five applications in there I'm, I'm going to say. Um, I also got a mineral fusion. I've never tried anything from the mineral, mineral fusion line but I've seen it at Whole Foods. Um, this is their natural sheer tint which I think is kind of like a tinted moisturizer so I'm, I'm not expecting full coverage but um, it's just another one for me to try and then I got some 
Gabrielle um, foundation. This is in Pale Ivory. Again, that's a company I've never, don't have a whole lot of experience with, but I want to try their foundations. And then the last, nope, just kidding. Um, <laughs> the, ne the next company I got to try is um, Zuzu Lux. This is their foundations. I got them in two colors, L3 and L11. Lord knows what that means. I just got the two lightest colors. <laughs> And then the last sample I got is from Alima Pure. It's a powder, um, matte powder foundation. She actually wrote in the note that they ran out of this for sampling. Um, so she gave me a very tiny sample that she said she hopes is worth at least two applications, but she didn't charge me for it, which I thought was really nice. So I got a little tiny sample of that matte foundation, uh, matte powder foundation. But I'm in love with the all natural face, so if that doesn't work for me, I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> I'm actually wearing that today. But anyway, so that's all I got in my little miniature haul, and I've dyed my finger blue. And go check out Notoriously, Notoriously Morbid, and if you're interested in trying some higher end foundations, but you don't want to spend the money on it willy-nilly, then I suggest going to White Rabbit Beauty and giving them a try. They have all of the shades. You can buy a sample, $1.50, um, just in foundations. They don't have samples of shadows and stuff like that. Um, they do have shadows for purchase, but not for sample. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.